this morning's Money Watch, Wendy's has a new French fry guarantee. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. And another 320,000 people likely filed new jobless claims last week. Jane King live in New York following these stories for us and more. Hi, Shayla Market Inc. Good morning to you. Yes, the U.S. likely posted unemployment claims last week of 320,000. So we get those numbers in about two hours, a little more than that. Uh, that would uh, bring the number of the newly unemployed each week back at least closer to the pre-virus numbers where we were at. Now, these jobless claims have been inching closer to the pre-pandemic levels over the past several months, but we're still about 100,000 or so away from what we would have seen in 2019. Well, aviation regulators in the U.S. reviewing a request by Boeing to redesign engine covers on the 777 and the 737 jet models that have led to multiple failures, including a passenger death in 2018. Now, Bloomberg reports the FAA is considering Boeing's petitions to make safety improvements on the front of the jet engines of the two models. The industry and the public do have 30 days to comment on the FAA proposal to grant Boeing the exemptions. And Wendy says it will replace any order of fries that are not hot and crispy. So Wendy's calling this their hot and crispy fry guarantee. Now, according to the press release, Wendy's tested 20 different types of potatoes in order to ensure that the fries have good heat protection. Well, the S&P 500 did uh, snap a three-day losing streak yesterday. Investors starting to get in these earnings. It really started coming yesterday. Uh, we'll get more today as well. Also, the Federal Reserve says they may start reducing stimulus to the economy in November. Despite that, market's quite strong this morning at more than 200 at the open. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. All right, Jane, thanks so much for those updates. Well, time now is 7.30.